Hey, it's Rob with Fandroid.com. We're here at the NVIDIA press conference at CES 2014, where NVIDIA just announced the 192 for Tegra K1. Um, and you can see there's Trine 2 being played on uh, with the new kit. There's uh, Sirius Sam 3. And this is the one thing that I think may have shocked me most is um, just, it's just a, a simulation. Um, it's a face simulator and it's called FaceWorks, but look at how, I mean, that's crazy to me. It's just incredibly, incredibly yes. real. Yeah, this basically shows all the cool things that Tegra K1 can do, and what it's uh, doing is it's using OpenGL 4.4 features like global illumination, compute shading, geometry shading, tessellation, to deliver like, you know, photorealistic computer graphics simulation. What you notice here, the light is falling on uh, Ira from behind, and you can see the light actually filtering through the ears. You look at his eyes, there's a lot of subsurface scattering there that makes the light, eyes look lifelike. You can see the shadows uh, as he moves around. I can even, uh, you know, let me zoom out a little bit and like change the lighting under different lighting conditions, you know. It, I mean, it looks like a movie, it looks and like it a movie. looks better than, like, I've played Xbox One, PS4, and, like, even the cinematic scenes, I mean, this looks more realistic, the lighting looks more realistic, the facial expressions are just, right. it's crazy. Right. Um, so, this is what Tegra K1 can do, but let's see if we run this on, like, uh, chips today that are currently available with their capabilities, how it would look. I basically turn off all Tegra K1 features, and you can immediately see, look at his eyes, it looks almost cartoon-like and the skin is very dry and life, uh, you know, lifeless. And if you look at it from a different angle, let me zoom out, you can see all the reflections on his skin don't look real at all. It's, this looks almost like a you know, corpse. It doesn't look right life. To bring him back to life, you need Tegra K1, and that's what I'm going to do by turning on OpenGL 4.4 features. And you know, this is the kind of graphics quality you can expect to see in uh, next generation games that will be coming to mobile. And the fact that Tegra K1 supports OpenGL 4.4, the same feature set supported by Xbox One and PS4 and some of the high-end uh, gaming PCs, means that games developed for all those high-end platforms now can be easily brought to mobile devices. Awesome. And these are just some more demos down the line that show the different... Uh... Exactly. So we have demos showing tessellation that shows high level of details in graphic scenes. We have a physics demo that shows how like objects fracture when you like you know collide with them. And then there's the living room demo that uses the Unreal Engine. Awesome. Uh, again, showing great graphics on a you know mobile device. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for the demo. Appreciate it. You're welcome.